Team Jackson, what's happening? So lately I've been seeing some tweets floating around from girls saying things like, it turns me on when a man can handle my attitude and puts me back in my place and won't let me run all over him. But you know what that reminds me of? Like when we see these dudes out here looking for a mommy figure to finish raising them and to baby them. Like to me, when a girl says some shit like that, that's the female equivalent. Like if that's you, you're not looking for a man to love on you and build with you. You're looking for a man to discipline you. And that was your daddy's job. Ain't no way in hell you should feel good about a man putting you back in your place. It should make you ashamed that it even got that far. Yeah, we all imperfect. We all make mistakes and shit like that. But the absolute most that your man should have to do is to let you know that you're tripping and that you're out of pocket. From there, you should correct your damn self out of respect for him and respect for the relationship. Like, what you mean I need a man that ain't going to let me run all over him? That sounds like somebody saying I need somebody that ain't going to let me steal from them. The fuck was you trying to steal for in the first place? You shouldn't be trying to run over your man, even if you can. If he's not enough man for you, why are you dealing with him? He shouldn't have to protect himself from you just to be with you. And the thing that kills me is that a lot of women get in my inbox and in my comment section and my DM saying, D, you know, you tell us to stay away from the fuck boys and the ain't shit dudes and to get us a real man because there are good men out here. But where are the real men? Where are the good men at? Quiet has kept a lot of good men with girls like this. Why? I don't know. Matter of fact, fellas, if you one of these dudes with your shit together, not just, you know, in a financial sense, but mentally as well. Like you can acknowledge at some point you was a little boy doing childish shit, but you've grown out of that. Guess what? Your relationship taste has to grow out of that, too. You shouldn't be dealing with no childish ass girl that needs you to put her in her place. Get you a real ass woman that knows her place is by your side, helping both of y'all improve yourself in your place in this world. Get you a woman that's not going to test your manhood, but remind you of your manhood and all the ways that you killing shit because she trying to build you up. Like, I don't know why y'all dealing with these little girls anyway, man. It's because they fine and they impress your boys. The whole while you keeping your boys impressed, you going home to a girl that got you stressed sending you to an early grave. It ain't worth it. Or is it because of the sex? Because I do hear people saying, you know, if a girl got good pussy, she going to have a bad attitude. I think the fuck not. There are plenty of women out here who are single with damn good energy and great pussy. That some other dude done messed up and let them go. Matter of fact, it's more cream of the crop, top of the line women like that now more than ever because it's no longer the way to have a relationship, a man, just any man to be validated. So a lot of women are comfortable in their singleness waiting for a real one to come along. So there's no reason, no excuse to be dealing with some little ass girl bringing you disrespect and dysfunction to prove your manhood and your masculinity and your manliness. Now you can get you a woman that's going to hold it down, not put you down and hold you back. Kings got to know they worth too, man. Stop dealing with these childish ass girls. Peace.